Hello HyperStudy users. Today we'll talk about a feature of performing say custom DOE points in HyperStudy. So typically uh, the process is that a user adds a model of choice in HyperStudy and selects you know imports the design variables with the right bounds and has some responses defined automatically and uh, most of the time uh, uh, you know a user would use MELS or a full factorial or Latin hypercube or any of these DOE methods but sometimes there's a requirement that a user has uh, a requirement of performing custom points. Now custom points means that you're not basically running what is coming from MELS for example so if you click on say full factorial for example click on apply and click on next and if you look at evaluation data these are the set of points and the user is not interested in, in running these or so but the user is specifically interested in running these set of points right so you can use hyperstudy for that use case as well so what needs to be done is first make sure what are the labels that you have for the design variables create an excel uh, without any 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 column for the numbering just the thickness one thickness two and three which is similar to the labels here and the respective values that need to run and just save this file as a csv file this is most important it should be a csv file and then what the user needs to do is add a doe and in specification click on run matrix in the run matrix uh, select the matrix file in this case you would select the doe point here which is a file I have saved it as a CSV and you just have to click on apply once you do that you will see that these are the points that will get evaluated from hyperstudy um, and you're not using the uh, specifications of MELS or anything else you're running your own custom points and if you look at the Excel now these are the these are the points which are exactly matching what you have given to hyperstudy now you can go ahead evaluate task and perform these uh, doe runs but what you have to keep in mind is since you are running your own custom points using uh, the post processing method of pareto plot linear effects may not be relevant because um, first you don't uh, it's it's not sure how many values you're adding you're adding 15 whether you require 75 and how are these uh, are these mathematically derived so if you're just adding a manual set of points because you don't want to update your solver deck uh, manually and go through that rigorous task whereas you want hyperstudy to just run custom points you can use this option but make sure that um, you do, do not too much rely on the post processing because if you have to use Pareto plot and linear effects you have to use um, uh, you have to use the uh, fraction factorial and full factorial as a DOE method whereas if you use these custom points you may just want to post process or th take this data uh, next and perform a fit or, or, or a fit based optimization study is up to you but this data may or may not be relevant for performing a design sensitivity or a screening post processing which are Pareto plot and linear effects so as the study concludes now it's almost uh, doing these 15 runs uh, we are not sure if if this data is is relevant you know so make sure whenever you have to do you have to use the custom options you have to keep in mind that this result may not be relevant because you're giving your own specific set of points which are not mathematically driven right thank you